Welcome people to the top three best free video editing software of 2020 and 2021. That is correct. Without further ado, we're going to jump into it. But first, my name is Jack. I produce weekly content based around video editing, videography, and how to make money making videos. Subscribe if that sounds interesting to you. Legendary video. Let's get to it. The top three best free. And I got a bonus for you at the end just in case they didn't suffice. Number one, DaVinci Resolve 16. By far the best free video editing software on the market. However, there is a caveat to that, which is it is a very intensive editor. It requires a good computer. So it is the best. However, it might not be the best for most of you. So you might want to stick around for number two and number three, but this is available for Mac, Windows, and Linux, by far the most legit free editor. It has everything. You could do it all. There's nothing you can't do in this thing. I mean, even if you think your PC is kind of slow, I'd at least give this a download and just see how it runs. If it runs well, it's going to be the one you want to use. That's for sure. You can make absolutely anything you want in this software, and the color grading's off the charts. Professional level color grading. So if color is something you value, get to it. There's also a paid version, um, which you do unlock more features. However, this thing can do pretty much everything. Like, like when I say pretty much, let's take pretty much out of there. This thing can do everything. By far the most powerful free video editing software in the world, DaVinci Resolve 16. And if you want to learn how to download it, because it's a little bit tricky, I'll leave a tutorial on how to download the right version, because like I said, there's a paid one and a free one in the description, as well as a tutorial. All of the videos, uh, all of the editors I talk about here, I'm going to leave you guys a tutorial link down below. So if you want to go jump on DaVinci, link in description, check it out. Number two, Cap Wing Video Editor. This one's great for the slow systems because it's online based. All online, um, there's a couple restrictions. You can only export videos up to 10 minutes. If it's over 10 minutes, you can't use it. So there's semi-restriction, but for the majority of stuff, vlog editing, etc., I see this as a, a pretty useful alternative to a software which will be built into your, into your computer. I know this is the best free video editing software, and technically, a website isn't a software because software, you download it onto your computer. But Capwing's great workaround for any slow computers. One of the only online editors without a watermark. If you go do your research, you're going to be hard pressed to find a, 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 a online editor that doesn't have a watermark and makes you pay, you know, thirty bucks a month or something like that to actually, uh, you know, get the legit version without the watermark. Now, this is the best uh, for my lower level systems, and it's something you should definitely check out. It is limited in its capabilities, but it's very frictionless and very impressive with the uh, the sort of range that they give you and the abilities you can use again tutorial attached down below i want you to go check that out uh you know if you need it and if you're choosing cap wing link in description for all this stuff number three shotcut legendary editor perhaps one of the most og editors on the free video editing software scene this is a gem like i said an og even one of the original best free video editing software the best free video editors this is a perfect first editor. I, it's right in the middle of semi-powerful, just enough sort of ability that it can run on slower computers as well. Not the slowest, but at the end of the day, it's a very good first editor. It can work for a lot of you guys, and the audio editing in there is superior. So if, if you're doing a lot of, you know, um, sound design, stuff like that, definitely Shotcut could be a good one for you. And it's very intuitive. Also, tutorials down below. Also, it's available for Mac, Linux, Windows, everything. Shotcut, absolute beast, legendary editor, and it's definitely, definitely something uh, which I would recommend as a first editor, but honestly, I'd recommend you guys download all of these, or the website, check it out as well, because one might work best for one of you, one might work best for the next, so it's really a personal preference thing. I would honestly advise you guys to really test these out. I know some of you are looking for the absolute solution, like, what's just the best one, bro? I don't want to try them all out. I understand that, but the video editing softwares are very interesting because it's all about your computer. Super powerful computers, they could run any of these no problem. I'd tell you go straight to DaVinci. Slower computers, I'd say maybe ease into a shortcut, maybe even a cap wing on the, on the internet, right? But those are the top three best free video editing softwares available in 2020. Now, there's a couple others that I want to talk about and mention. Like I said, this is the top three, but let me give you a bonus. The bonus is Hit Film Express. The reason I say it's a bonus and I didn't throw it on the list is because it's another one of these ones where you do have to have a powerful computer to run it efficiently. It's just the reality of the situation that there's no two ways around it. You have to have a powerful computer to run it efficiently uh, or else you're going to be dealing with a uh, lag, playback lag, which is not fun. It makes editing kind of a disaster. I'm not going to lie. If you're dealing with playback lag, it really... You need to see a therapist after an hour editing with playback lag. Leave a comment down below, say some miserable stories you've had with playback lag. My bad, I'm spitting everywhere. Um, and playback lag is really one of those ones that gets the, the spit particles flying out of playback. 
You know what I mean? Um, but at the end of the day, a little bit gross, my bad. Um, at the end of the day, HitFilm Express, extremely high power editor. If I had to not use Premiere Pro, I pay for Premiere Pro. It's industry standard. I use Premiere Pro. If I was looking for a best free video editing software and I was going to ditch Premiere Pro, I'd go to HitFilm Express or DaVinci. Ideally, I'd go straight to DaVinci. If DaVinci was giving me problems somehow, I go to HitFilm Express. These are by far the most powerful on the list. HitFilm Express can loosely be compared to Adobe After Effects. That loosely, hey, don't don't sue me. Some of my some of my legends in here, but at the end of the day, it, it can loosely be compared to After Effects because it's very 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 uh, powerful. A lot of ability to it. You got all your sort of standard features, your masking, motion tracking, all that type of stuff. Extremely powerful. It definitely deserves the number four spot on this list. Without further ado, guys, thank you for watching the video. I want to pass you off to the, to the description. That is correct. There is links to all these editors down below, as well as tutorials on how to use all these editors, also linked down below. Check it out. Thank you guys for tuning in to the top three best free video editing software of 2020. Huge video. Also 2021. If you watch in 2021, I would be astonished. If they've come up with a better video editor in the next four months, because I'm making this in October. And listen, the, the the video editors are still the best from last year, still. Like, they're not making stuff at an alarming rate here. So, whatever year you're watching this, you could best believe DaVinci's probably still the top best free video editing software on the market. Cap wing to follow with number two. Shotcut with number three, and we threw Hit Film Express in there with the bonus at number four. The amount of comments that'll say clickbait down below for that number four is going to make me laugh always happens. Thank you guys for watching. Have a nice day. Check me out on social. Also, follow Creator Dashboard, my community hub for creators. 10 out of 10, we're giving out free editing packs. If you get one of these editors, you want to go over and follow Creator Dashboard so you can get some pre-made effects that can make your videos better, and you don't even have to put all your time into it. We got real talented people making this stuff, so you could just cheat. Thank you guys for tuning in. Have a nice day, and I will see you in our upcoming video. Have an awesome time swimming, have an awesome time bike riding, have an awesome time at the boxing gym, whatever your activities are, get to it, and send me your edits once you put some stuff together, thank you guys for tuning in, have a nice day, peace out. Perfect guys, what's going on? We've reached the end of the video, that is correct. I now want to direct your attention to the tutorials down below. I forgot to mention that we have a full Shotcut Masterclass. If you've chosen Shotcut, which I think would be great for a lot of you guys, we've got a full, I think, eight-part Shotcut Masterclass, six to eight-part Shotcut Masterclass. Also, full in-depth DaVinci Resolve tutorials, full in-depth HitFilm Express tutorials, Capwing tutorials as well, linked down below. We got everything in the description. Check it out. If you're having trouble with DaVinci Resolve installs, I know it could be a little tricky. We got a tutorial down there as well. And I'm going to throw a little bit of footage here at the end of me actually using these programs. Show you guys what they're like and also get us over that 10 minute mark. You guys know the drill. For any new users, I'm going to try to go a little bit slower actually. So let me stop myself. Go up to file, press new project if you want to make yourself a new project. Now I'm going to call this new project um, version, <laughs> version 2 of the... Version 2 of the drone clip edit a very very obvious sort of like straightforward name um, but that's what we're gonna do now now what I want to do is open up this folder and let's actually just import all of the actual clips themselves first so it's all let's import all the actual clips all right guys so when you actually load up shotcut it's gonna look like this I want to direct you guys to the playlist of these three right here export is obviously exporting filters is code for effects and playlist is code for uh, you know what I mean where you would actually keep all your footage um, and essentially, you know what I mean? It's pretty simple. Uh, the majority of your navigation is going to go between, um, you know, here, which is your preview, here, which is your timeline, here, which is your playlist, uh, you know, and then also the filters, which we're going to get to next. But when you go to playlist to import some clips, let's just go ahead and click plus and uh, um, boop, 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 boop. All right, what's going on, guys? So when you actually load up Hit Film Express, this is going to be the first screen that you are greeted with. It is kind of the home screen, obviously. Um, this seems to be, uh, you know, a bunch of different little tutorials that you can actually get straight access to. So this is the how to create TV show intro titles, Hit Film Express, uh, how to use masking tools, etc. Basically, they're they're actually really helpful to include a bunch of these sort of uh, basic tutorials on their home page. So just, you know, 
to avoid kind of going over things multiple times, I'll not actually do anything that's actually included here because you guys could easily just go ahead and click one of these links and watch that on YouTube. Um, but this is, of course, the free version of HitFilm Pro. So uh, it does not include everything that HitFilm, the kind of full paid version, does. <laughs>